In light of the Parole Board's direction to release Tracy Connolly, I should inform the House that, having carefully read the decision, I have decided to apply to the Parole Board to seek their reconsideration. The public inevitably begin at Easterfield and to question the reliability of the decision-making when serious offenders are recalled to prison for breaches of their licence or because they commit further offences on release. Now, I think in placed in context, it's fair to say that's only a fraction of all cases, uh, but it is still over once a fortnight that an offender released goes on to commit a serious offence while subject to supervision. Now, at present, victims who wish to challenge a decision by the Parole Board to release a prisoner have got the option of asking the Justice Secretary to apply for that decision to be reconsidered. And it's an important innovation, uh, and I have exercised it today in the harrowing case of Baby P. There have been 39 interventions since that challenge mechanism was set up two years ago. And just to give uh, honourable members a sense of how many succeed, four have led to a change in the release decision. Madam Deputy Speaker, following the review we have conducted and published today, I believe the case for reform is clear and made out.